All right, good morning, everybody. Come on in, come on in. We are going to start in a few uh, minutes. This is day two of Forgiveness February, um, where we are coming together as brothers and sisters in the body of Christ to be reminded of the power to forgive. We are coming here together and we've been joining on Facebook Live on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays at 10 a.m. for the month of February to uh, encourage each other, strengthen each other, sh uh, sharpen each other uh, in the spirit to remind each other of the power of forgiveness and the empowerment that we have to forgive. So when you come on, please tag, like, share, and invite. When you come on, please tag, like, share, and invite as we are cleaning up some things in our hearts, cleaning up some things in our mind in this season. We're making room for the new on the inside. We're living from the inside out in this season. We're not just going to focus on what we do on the outside, how we look on the outside, how we walk and talk on the outside, but we're going to focus on the inside and we're going to live from the inside out so that we can be the best version of who we are, so that we can have healthy relationships, so that we can come into the right connections, so that we can be at the right place with the right time with the right people because we don't have brain fog of unforgiveness. And so what you guys know me, most of you that follow me, you know, my name is Caritha McCall. I come on here for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. I come on here. I do a lot of things. I teach, I pray, I prophesy. I do all of that for the glory of God. But most of all, I come on here as a sister in the body of Christ to remind my brothers and sisters of who they are. Because sometimes when we're going through a lot of different things, when we've got a lot on our plate, when we've got a lot of situations and circumstances, we can forget who we are, that we belong to the kingdom family and the power that we have as children of God, as men and women of God, to use the supernatural gifts that have been given to us. And so the supernatural gift that we carry is forgiveness. One of the supernatural gifts that we carry is called forgiveness. It is supernatural. It is inspired by Jesus. It is inspired by the gift of the Holy Spirit. And so I'm coming from Colossians chapter 3 today. Colossians chapter 3. And I'm going to read verses 12 and verses 13 on today to remind some people of the power, the empowerment that's been given to them by Jesus, um, by way of the Holy Spirit. It comes out of Colossians chapter 3 verses 12 and 13 and it says put on therefore as the elect of god who's the elect of god we are the elect of god holy and beloved bowels of mercy kindness humbleness of mind meekness long suffering 13 says forbearing another word for for forbearing means patiently restrained or refrain forbearing one another and forgiving one another if any man have a quarrel against any even as christ forgave you so also do ye. And so in this particular chapter, we are being um, advised as believers, as sons and daughters in the body of Christ to put on certain things, certain attributes, characteristics as children of God, to put on um, holiness, to put on mercy, to put on kindness, to put on humbleness of mind, to put on meekness, to put on long suffering. And then it says forbearing one another, being patiently restrained with one another to forgive one another. And it says, if any man have a quarrel, if we have some issues, some arguments, it tells it's encouraging us to forgive each other just as Christ has forgiven us. And so I just wanted to come on here really quickly. This is a, an epistle of Paul to the Colossians. And we know that um, the word of God is inspired by God to correct, to, to rebuke, to, um, to give uh, instruction. And so unto a, a, um, the righteous man or woman, um, unto good works. I'm paraphrasing that. It comes out of uh, 1 Timothy 3 and 16. And so we know that the word of God is meant for us to grow. It is a manual for us if we apply it to our lives and to our heart in that intimate relationship with Jesus Christ, that we will get the results that we should be getting as children of God as part of our as part of our rightful inheritance. And so I'm going to pray now. I wasn't going to stay on here long. You guys know that when we come on here for February forgiveness, I come on here, I do a little bit of teaching and then I pray. Um, I pray for um, those that are watching this now and those that are going to watch this later. OK, and so um, 
I'm going to make sure that I just gave you that scripture correctly. That actually comes out of um, 2 Timothy. I said uh, 1 Timothy. It comes out of 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. It says, all scripture is given by inspiration of God and is for profitable profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that a man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. And so we're supposed to manifest good works as believers in the body of Christ. And so I'm going to come on here now and, and encourage you guys to just pray um, and encourage, us, encourage you to forgive as Christ has forgiven you. Forgive as Christ has forgiven you. Good morning, Selena and um, extend the same mercy that's been extended to you. And if you have a quarrel, if you have a disagreement, if you have an argument, go ahead and get it squashed so that you can keep your heart and your mind clean. Go ahead and squash it so that the Holy Spirit can continue to flow. God's Spirit can continue to flow in your life so that you can hear, so that you can walk how you're supposed to walk, talk how you're supposed to talk, so that you can be who you're called to be as a son or daughter because unforgiveness is a blessing blocker. Uncom unforgiveness blocks your blessings. Uncom unforgiveness can block the blessings of those around you because you're not in right standing with God in the situation. You're not operating in that position as a son or daughter carrying that supernatural gift of forgiveness and so you can be thinking why is this not happening why is that not happening why is this not going on hey woman of god miss angela jackson miss angela jackson why is this or not that that not going on and i'm not saying that that's all that's every time that that's the reason i'm, I'm not saying that i hope you guys hear me but sometimes um when things are not happening in our lives sometimes when we don't see what we want to see um, we just need to do a heart check. We need to make sure our hearts are clean, our hearts and our minds are clean, and that we're not holding things against people. We're not holding grudges. We are not um, holding people hostage because of what they did or what they said. And not only does that free um, them up, but it frees you up, okay? It frees you up in the spirit because you literally lock yourself up. You imprison your own self when you decide not to forgive other people. And I used the analogy yesterday um, when a bank, when a bank robber is robbing a bank and he's, he's holding people hostage, well, he's a hostage himself because he's held with inside the building and on the outside is some people, the police are waiting for him to come out so that he can be arrested. And so he's a hostage along with the hostages on the inside. And so when we choose not to forgive, we can also hold ourselves hostage. You not only hold the people hostage that you're holding a grudge against, but you hold yourself hostage. You hold yourself hostage not to walk in the freedom and the liberty that's been given to you as a daughter or as a son of God. Because where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Okay? And so I'm going to pray right now and I'm going to get off of here. All right? I hope you guys are having a good week. We do this on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays at 10 o'clock. This is uh, February. February forgiveness or forgiveness February and we are just coming together to make sure that we've uh, we're we're um, holding each other accountable like you good you good you know for anything that might be in your heart anything that might be stopping you blocking you hindering you harassing you tormenting you causing you to go in circles causing you to go in cycles causing you to not see as clearly as you should be seeing because unforgiveness could um, dim your vision in the spirit okay and so we're going to pray now and uh, please tag, like, share and invite the videos. So, Father God in heaven, we come before you in the name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus. Lord, I come lifting up my brothers and sisters in the body of Christ on this morning. God, we thank you that we are able to come together on today and um, just come before you, first of all, just repenting of our sins for anything that we've said or done or thought, Heavenly Father. God, forgive us for holding grudges. Forgive us for not being willing to forgive other people that have done us wrong. Forgive us, Lord God, for justifying our negative behavior, negative attitudes, and negative beliefs because we have unforgiveness in our hearts. God, we come before you, Lord God, asking you to search our hearts, O oh Lord, and create in us a clean heart and renew a right spirit within us. And let the words of our mouth and the meditations of our heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. And God, we just thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your, your grace um, to forgive us of our sins, God. And the same forgiveness, Lord God, that you have extended to us, God. God, we come before you uh, asking you to help us, God, 
help the ones that just say they can't do it they they don't see themselves doing it they, they don't feel right doing it they're not ready to do it god i come praying for those heavenly father that are in a place in their hearts concerning issues concerning offenses and things that have happened to them god i pray for their hearts and their minds god that you would begin to break up the fallow ground of their hearts heavenly father that they would be able to receive the empowerment that you have given to us when you died on the cross heavenly father so i pray for hearts and minds right now in the name of Jesus that they will become pliable that they will become flexible Lord God and that they would have a will to forgive when people hurt when people hurt them or say the wrong things to them or do something to them God that they would set their minds that their, their minds would be reset to be a people that forgives to be a man or a woman of God that forgives and chooses not to hold grudges chooses not to hold someone hostage hostage so that they can remain free themselves because you said where the spirit of the lord is there is liberty and god we thank you lord god you said whom the son is set free is free indeed so god we know that when we accepted you that we we gained access to everything that you offer as our lord and savior as king of king and lord of lords so god we pray lord god i pray for an activation in the hearts and the minds of the people lord god your people your sons and daughters on today that their hearts lord god would be ignited with your love because your love activates forgiveness that's what took jesus to the cross your love for us allowed jesus to say i'll go and he went on the cross and our sins were forgiven because he was the lamb who was slain for us, God. So, God, we bless you and we thank you and we give you praise, glory, and honor, God, for what you're doing in this hour and doing in this time. We thank you, God, that we are willing to go through a detoxification in the spirit, that we're willing to go through a detoxification in our hearts and in our minds, that we would not be bound, that we would not be shackled by chains in the spirit, that we would not continue to go in circles and patterns, that we would not be stuck and stagnant that we would um be able to see clearly um what we're supposed to see in the spirit that we would understand and know what we're supposed to understand and know because our hearts are clean because our minds are clean because we've allowed you to do a spiritual surgery on our hearts god so god we ask you again just to create in us a clean heart and renew a right spirit within us and God, we ask you, Lord God, to continue anything that we've allowed to lie dormant, anything that we've smothered, anything that we've covered up with being busy and, and, and getting in relationships and saying certain things and getting preoccupied. And those things have literally um, caused some type of spiritual infection. Mm -hmm on the inside of our hearts, God, that those things have caused some type of spiritual infection on the inside of us where our perceptions are now skewed. And we don't see ourselves the way we should see ourselves. And we don't look at our brothers and sisters in the body of Christ the way we should look at our brothers and sisters in the body of Christ. And we don't look at our leaders the way we should look at our leaders. And we don't look at our spouses and our family members the way we should look at them, God, because the spiritual infection has happened because we've chosen not to forgive. We've chosen not to activate the love that you've extended to us, God. God, we ask you to resurrect those things in this hour. Begin to bring those things to our hearts and our minds that we may repent that we may forgive those that have hurt us and that we would uh, forgive ourselves for um whatever we feel like whatever part that we had <coughs> in the situation that we would forgive ourselves um for feeling like we let or allowed something to happen god and so god i pray for that for the hearts and the minds of the people on today in the name of jesus for the men and for the women of god on today in the name of jesus christ god i bless you and i thank you and i give you all praise and i give you all glory and i give you all honor god for these men and for these women of god for these your people in the name of jesus christ and god i pray for healing as they begin to forgive others for hurting them as they begin to forgive people for saying certain things and doing certain things to them and as you begin to go and you begin to dig up things from their past things that they thought they were good on things that they thought they forgot about god as you begin to um do these things god god i pray that you would heal their hearts god that you would heal the, the things that have caused them to be broken and fragmented god that you would heal lord god their hearts from um 
attitudes and beliefs that are not healthy they're not kingdom minded that you would begin to heal their hearts that's causing them to not make good decisions for their lives and for their families that you would begin to heal their hearts where they have um, made some decisions to do some things that were not beneficial for them because unforgiveness was dictating um, their decisions, God. So God, I pray for restoration and I pray for uh, a reconciliation in this area. I pray for a repairing of that breach. A repairing of the breach, Heavenly Father, where unforgiveness had caused a breach in their hearts. Unforgiveness had caused a breach in that area, God. I pray now for your righteous right hand to begin to lay over that area and that your blood would begin to mend the breach in their hearts in the name of jesus god we declare that and we decree that and we thank you lord god for the new thing the new new thing that you're doing you're doing a new new thing in their lives in the name of jesus i declare it and i decree that god over robert and over mary and over angela and over uh, selena and all the other people that i can't see on here god a new new thing in their marriages a new new thing in their relationships a new new thing with their children a new new thing with family members a new new thing Thing with finances, a new new thing where they come into purposes and destinies and hopes and dreams, a new new thing where they come into the true identity of who they are, a new new thing where they begin to like themselves and embrace themselves and, and embrace how they look and like how they look. A new, new thing that there would be a contentment about where they are, not a, not a contentment that would cause them not to press towards the great things that you have for them, but that they would not be tormented with uh, dissatisfaction, that they would not be tormented, Lord God, with things that would cause them to be depressed or go or jealous or angry, God, but that you would do a new thing, new, new thing in their emotions, God. And so, God, I thank you for that and I praise you and I give you glory and I give you honor and praise for the men and for the women, God. And God, I just pray, Lord God, for a reaffirming, a validation of who these men and women are in their hearts, God, because God, a lot of times all we can think about is what we did and, and what we did wrong. And, and a lot of times we can dwell on those things too long and it can put us in a pit. It can put us in a place. So God, I pray that as you begin to bring these things up about what's happened to them and they repent and they ask for forgiveness, that you give them the courage to move forward after that. Because God, you separate our sins as far as the East is from the West, God. You don't remember them anymore. So God, I pray in Jesus name that as these your people begin to go through this spiritual detoxification, God, that they're able to move forward after this, that they won't hold on and keep trying to go back to it, go back to it and go back and rehearse it, that they would truly continue to hand it over to you every time it comes back to their mind and that they will move forward and that they would not walk in self condemnation that they would that they would do what you do god when you after we deliver it to you after we present it and we repent god it's gone. And so, God, I pray that over their lives in the name of Jesus and that they would not continue to say, well, I ain't going to do this because that happened before. And, and I ain't going to go there because that happened before. And, and I'm not going to marry because this happened before. And, and I'm not going to give them a try because that happened before. And I'm not going to go there because that happened before. God, I pray that you would heal their minds in the name of Jesus, that there would be a healing in their minds and that they would trust you in the name of Jesus, God. For you said uh, the fear of man, it brings a snare. But you said the righteous can run in and they are safe. And so, God, I pray in Jesus' name that you would begin to heal their minds about the things that have happened to them, God. Um, as they forgive, that you would still work on their minds and heal their minds, that it would not put them on a detour that would cause them to be in the wrong place at the wrong time because they're trying to preserve themselves, because they're not trusting you. They're trying to protect themselves. And so, God, I pray that you would just clear that up for them and that you would give them a peace in the name of Jesus as they go through this spiritual detoxification, God, that as they, they allow the spiritual infections to be healed up through the antibiotic of your love, through the antibiotic of the blood of Jesus, that that antibiotic of the love and the blood of Jesus would begin to clear that up in the name of Jesus Christ, God, in their minds and in their hearts, in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you and we give you all praise and we give you all glory and we 
give you all honor for the new, new thing that you're doing in these, your people lives in the name of Jesus. There's a new, new thing that God is doing. There's a new thing, but then there's a new, new thing. You had an idea about the new thing, but there's something even newer that God is going to do that you didn't even have on your radar. There's things that I'm doing that's in my life. I didn't have on my radar. That was a new, new thing. I had an idea about some things, but then God amped it up and he did the Ephesians 3.20. So I, I declare and decree the Ephesians 3 and 20 over your lives that God will do the exceedingly and the abundantly. That's a new, new thing. Exceedingly and abundantly is a new, new thing that God would do the exceedingly and the abundantly above all you could ever ask or think according to the power that worketh within you. So God, we thank you. I declare that. I decree that. I release that over these, your people that are watching this now and those that are going to watch it later, that there's a new, new thing that you want to do in their lives. God, you said, eyes have not seen and ears have not heard and neither has it entered into the hearts of man. What you are prepared for those who love them. But you said that it's by your spirit that those things can be revealed. So God, we thank you for revealing the new, new thing. There's something newer than the new thing that you thought about that God wants to do. So God, we bless you and we thank you. We give you all praise. We give you all glory and we give you all honor. In the mighty name of Jesus, we say amen and amen. God bless you guys. Jesus loves you. I love you, but Jesus loves you more than I could ever, ever love you. Please tag, like, share, and invite the videos. We'll be back on here tomorrow and Wednesday. February forgiveness is on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays at 10 a.m. All right. God bless y'all. Bye-bye.